Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We have achieved it guys. We have reached 10,000 subscribers before the end of July 10. Thank you so much for supporting me achieve this goal. It has been a goal for like the past 15 days and you guys made it possible before even like we still have nine days left for July 10th and I'm already at 10k. Thank you so much for your support and now I have a special announcement for you guys. This is me giving back to you for all the support that you given me so far. Somewhere between July 10 and July 15, I'll be conducting my 10,000 subscribers special live stream that is going to be epic. If you have been a part of the channel for quite some time, you know how massive those giveaway streams are. And yes, this is a giveaway stream. I'll be giving away a minimum of 5,000 tickets worth of skins and other in-game items for you guys all you need to do is participate and you will be able to take part in the competitions or small uh, games that we conduct and you will be able to win all these prizes okay like i said this is me giving back to you guys for all the support that i have been getting right now i am in the platinum tier of hok's content creator program and to reach the next one which is diamond we need 25000 subscribers i know it's very far ahead but we will soon be able to get it and with you guys support i will be able to so thank you so much for every single one that has been supporting me and uh, yeah today's video is going to be a very special one as well i'm going to give you guys simple tips that will immediately help improve your gameplay some of these you might already know but there are others that you might not so uh, watch this video and you will be able to improve yourself at the end a, a lot of new players in the game are still struggling uh, the problem that you seem to have is you don't know how to farm gold enough and you don't know when to fight a hero and mostly you lose a fight as a jungler especially so uh, I'll give solutions for all these problems in this video so you will have a better uh, gaming experience as a jungler or pretty much any role okay so yeah let us get straight into the video so tip one is going to be pick one or two heroes and stick to them every hero in this game are strong uh, we don't have uh, any hero that is too broken or uh, completely unbalanced like a lot of other MOBAs have heroes that are very strong but right here in HOK every single hero can be played and every hero's main player will play that hero and will be able to beat every other hero in the game so it's all about the player and not the hero so for instance my most favorite and reliable hero in the game is Cyrus and a lot of people will disagree with me a lot of people will say this hero is weak he's a very bad hero he doesn't have burst damage he doesn't have hp blah 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 they they might say anything but i play cyrus well because i have been playing him for a very long time and i know how to deal with a lot of enemy heroes so in that way if you choose one hero and learn how to master that particular hero keep playing them more and more you will be facing different matchups one match you will be fighting uh, a different mage the next match you will be fighting uh, a different assassin so oh uh, over time your experience will keep stacking up and you will eventually be able to master the hero and you will be unstoppable so tip number one is going to be pick one or two heroes and stick to them now the step number two is identify which role that hero is good at so you might be thinking why are you putting this as step two and that as step one it is for a reason find out which hero is fun for you to play and now you have found it right so you have decided which hero you are going to play and then okay maybe if you found zilong as your most favorite hero then you will see that he is a jungler then start learning how to jungle start learning how to uh, help your team gank or everything everything that a jungler generally needs okay so now that you have a hero you find out which role that hero is good at and then try to master that role so that is going to be tip number two Tip number three is always pay attention to the map. So a lot more things can be seen from the map than what you see in your actual screen in front of your hero or behind them. So uh, 
using the map to its fullest potential means that you are such a good player in the game that will improve your gameplay by a lot because you will be able to see where an enemy is going to go where an enemy is going to gank where your teammates are and where you have to send back up which lane you need to rotate to which lane you have to go and clear minion waves everything happens on the map so if you were to uh, let me pick between the map or my actual screen i will pick the map so if if you had to tell me choose one either choose the map or choose your screen whichever one you choose the other one will just disappear you won't be able to use i will choose the map because a map is more useful map provides more information than what you actually see on your screen okay so keep that in mind always try to look at the map for anything it will be very hard for you at first first you will be looking at the hero wow nice cool designs huh okay wow what a what a cool skin right so this will be your focus first like you you'll be like okay i have bought the skin nice nice visuals oh i'm going straight to the middle lane okay there is a tower i crashed into the tower no this is not important the map is important so there are three types of players basically first very new players will always look at the hero design okay they'll be like oh this weapon is really cool and whenever it attacks there is a flag that comes out then there is the second level they'll be like okay my abilities are like this so i have to use this ability here and then i have to use this ability this ability that is the second level third level is players who only look at the map they'll be walking but they'll be looking at the map they won't be looking at the hero and walk so you you might have seen me do that even i'll be looking at a fight in the middle lane but my hero look at the map the hero is actually walking properly through the jungle i'm not even looking at my screen i'm just looking at the map and i'm able to see i am able to control the hero look at how far i have come so that technique i'll show you how to do it above your abilities if you hold the screen and then if you move around you will be able to look around the map okay so that is how i do it so whenever i spawn from the altar I will just hold the top and then move around to see what's going on. So let's say a mid lane, a fight is going on in the middle lane. I'll be looking at the middle lane, but I'll also be going through the jungle to my sage buff. So right here, see, I am at my sage buff. So you have to slowly improve your gameplay, and you will be able to do all these things. And uh, the more the more time you spend to pay attention to the map the better your gameplay is going to get because the map is everything okay so that is tip number 3 okay now tip number 4 this is very important you might have seen this uh, often if you watch my gameplay videos you might have seen this what i do is whenever i'm just roaming around i just click this right i just click open this and i close i, I click open i close what am i doing is is it something that i'm doing because i'm bored i'm just walking around the map so i'm just clicking and opening the scoreboard and i'm closing it no the scoreboard also tells you a lot more than you looking at your hero school design and walking around the map whenever you have time open the scoreboard and look at how much gold the enemy has so right here let me properly go and yeah there right next to the kill death and assist of arthur you can see the number 756 so that is how much gold arthur has and right here this is how much gold you have 756 this is what i look whenever i open the screen okay so i also will keep on moving while i have it open so once you have it open you cannot access your movement cursor so even if you if you try to access your movement cursor you won't be able to so you close it start moving and then you open the scoreboard then you will be able to still access your movement cursor you can see behind right i am still moving so keep this in mind you have to start moving and then open the scoreboard so i i look at the scoreboard i see okay arthur has two attack items and one defensive item let me go down a little bit and if you see above me i have one shoe and an attack item so if i were to fight arthur now who will win he will easily win he has two attack items this one gives 20 physical attack this one gives another 20 and this one gives him 90 armor 
I only have 20 attack and one shoe. So I can run fast, but what I can't do? I cannot fight him. So this is why I always open this. So whenever I'm jungling, I'll just open this. Oh, okay. And then I'll start uh, clearing the creep. And once I clear the creep and I'm on my way to the next creep, I'll open this again and I'll be looking. Okay. So now this, this is what is happening. This is important because this allows you to know which are all the enemies you can attack and which are all the enemies you have to watch out for. Because whenever an enemy has a lot of gold, if you are very far behind, you should avoid fighting that enemy at all costs, especially if it's 1v1. So I will know at every time which enemy I can kill and which enemy I have to run away from. So as because I'm always looking at the scoreboard, the enemy will never be able to surprise me. Got it? That is a very important tip. I don't think anyone will give you this tip. I, I have seen a bunch of tu tips and tutorial videos and no one really talks about this. Always keep checking the scoreboard and you will be able to play very like cautious you will be playing very vigilant and no one will be able to surprise you so let us say the enemy butterfly is just destroying everyone so if you look at the gold she will have 2000 gold and you will have 1200 if you fight her it's an instant death for you so what you should do whenever you see her just use your ultimate and run away and try to go to some other lane farm some more gold and then i will check okay so now she is 2000 and i am 1500 okay 500 gold more needed and then i'll go to a lane get the minions i'll kill the minions get the gold then i'll check again oh 1800 now 200 more needed and then i'll go again farm it and when it's equal i'll go and take the fight so with gold disadvantage, you will not be able to win fights. And how do you know when you have a gold advantage or disadvantage? That is by constantly checking the scoreboard. So next time when you watch my gameplay video, don't be annoyed at the number of times I'm opening and closing the scoreboard. It is because I'm checking the enemy's equipment and I'm also checking the enemy's gold. Okay. So the next tip is going to be about farming. So you have decided whether you are going to play as a jungler or a marksman or a mage or a clash laner, right? A warrior. So you should know how these particular roles are supposed to form. So what does a jungler do? He jungles and gets the gold and experience. It's, it's simple, right? No, it's not. It's not simple. If you make these creeps wait for you, you are a bad jungler. So you kill them. You kill these creeps first, right? You kill the creeps. And then you continue the jungle, right? You go for the whole jungle rotation around the map. And you go for the sage buff. And then you go to this creep. Then this creep. Red buff. And then this creep. And you will fight. These creeps will spawn at that time. So after finishing that fight, immediately come back. Immediately come back and clear the next jungle don't let them wait for you if you let them wait what are you basically doing you are wasting gold and experience by not getting them and you are also wasting the next wave only if you clear this now it will go into a cooldown and then come back so if if it's the sage buff it comes after uh, hi one minute and 30 seconds I think okay so once you kill the sage buff it will be back again after 1 minute and 30 seconds so let us say you kill the first sage buff at 1 minute so at 2 minutes and 30 seconds the next sage buff will be spawning and it will be waiting for you you roam around the map like uh, let me try to get the kill on marksman let me try to get the kill on mage I will go around let me go to the top lane say hi to my friend I'll go to the bottom lane and uh, curse at the enemy do some recall dancing and the sage buff is like waiting waiting and it's four minutes five minutes what are you doing by this time you could have got three buffs instead you have one see only if you get it it will respawn again so the the longer it is just standing there idle the worse it's going to get for you like later into the game right so keep this in mind especially as a jungler this is important for junglers obviously 
whenever the buff or the creeps are up finish them off and then do whatever you want if you watch any of my jungle videos you will always see that i prioritize killing the creeps and then i go for the fights i never put fights in front of jungling once you stop jungling you are just throwing the game it's simple as that you might be like let me just get this one kill i just need to wait for 10 more seconds the marksman will come out i'll kill them and then come that 10 minutes even if you get the marksman kill it's not worth it it's not worth sacrificing three creeps for that 10 seconds it's as simple as that so as a jungler i, I see a lot of complaints saying bro i'm not getting i'm not getting gold enough i always am the last one in gold that is because you waste a lot of time standing waiting for the enemies to come okay i have to kill i'll i'll wait i'll be patient you can be patient but you cannot be patient when creeps are waiting for you at home you have to kill the creeps and then go and do whatever you want okay so this is a very important tip especially for junglers this tip when said for other laners not the roamers for other clash lane mid lane and farm lane this is instead of creeps this is minions whenever there is a minion wave you clear the wave first and then you fight if there is a wave in your lane let's say you are the mage and if there is a wave waiting for you in the lane and you are fighting in the farm lane you are basically uh, on track to lose the match because three minions give you like 300 gold one kill gives you 100 gold what is more important the 300 it's so simple just just go and clear the minion wave standing and getting a kill and getting 100 gold after a lot of hard work and fighting the enemy where you can just go to your lane kill the three minions they are not going to do anything to you kill them get the 300 gold be happy right so yeah that is how to farm gold properly you clear one wave and then say bye 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 lane see you after uh, see you next match right go uh, as soon as the match starts i walk towards the middle lane and then i clear one wave bye bye lane see you next match and then that's it this is why people in bronze silver gold platinum you all lose you don't care about minions minions are your life force in this game they provide gold okay i will end the video here i gave you guys five tips and these five are very important the first two are very basic but the other three are really 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 important i might have done a lot of yapping in the video and please uh, <laughs> please just forgive me this once but i think it's pretty useful yapping so Mm, i will continue this as a part 2 where i'll give you five more tips and i'll have it in the same way two very simple ones and three advanced ones okay so yeah that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button i hope you all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video